Pastor Nathan and Joey, congratulations on 20 years. I'll start out by saying happy 20th year in the ministry. We're so proud of you. Hi, Champion Christian Center. Hi, Pastor Nathan, Pastor Joey. Congratulations on 20 years of ministry. Happy 20th year of ministry, pastors Nathan and Joey. Congratulations. Happy 10 year anniversary to Champion Center. The best is yet to come always, and we are only getting bigger and better from here. Nathan always brought such great joy to our lives. Um, there was a real dynamic and camaraderie between he and his brothers. And one of the ways I can describe it, as uh, if you remember the A-Team, uh, they, there was Hannibal and Face and Murdoch and Mr. T and Nathan was always appropriately face and the people person and the, the face front and that kind of uh, was his mantle. It was very evident at an early age that uh, there was a call in his life. Joey always was destined to be something good, something great, something powerful and um, I think we all knew that. When she set her mind to do something, it doesn't, didn't matter if she was four or 34. The girl got it done. So I remember clearly um, him coming in and, and sharing Isaiah 49 about, before I was born, the Lord called me. Before I was formed, he made me mention of my name, that, that I might be the servant of the Lord to display his glory. And just to, um, just know that confirmation in our spirit and then the Lord clearly began to just open up the doors as we stepped into that. When Joey first got saved she was um, in high school and I remember that she was just a totally different changed person. You could just see it within her. You know I think prior to that she had uh, a difficult time with just the normal things of life. Just you know be, being that teenager, you know having peer pressure. But when she did get saved, she came back and she was confident and she knew what she wanted. When Joey decided that she wanted to go to ministry school, I was opposed to it and I thought she just wanted to get down because of her boyfriend. You no, know, it was a shock to all of us and, and especially my dad. You know, I, I just wanted reassurance that, you know, she was, you know, because she made a big change in her life and me, I wasn't sure. So I, I had a friend, his name was Pastor Jeff. I asked him to have a conversation with Joey to see if uh, she was really authentic. And uh, he reported to me that she was. And, you know, and I trusted him and I trusted Joey all along. My parents' journey in ministry started in the year 1999, 2000. They got married in 99. They were in uh, Browns Brownsville School Ministry. A little later, in uh, the back end of 2001, they started their uh, youth group ministry. We were in the upper room with about 20 youth kids. Then we transitioned to The Rock uh, across the street, which was a state-of-the-art facility of its day, and uh, grew to hundreds of kids in that ministry. After six years of being youth pastors, they felt called by God to branch out and start their own church. And that started in uh, the Marriott. So we were there for one year, and it was, a, it was a handful of people, but it was a start. And uh, after a year, we moved to the Sheraton. Then we moved to Cannonsburg. We moved into Canamac High School for roughly three years. And uh, that we started to see around 50, 60 people every Sunday. That was a big step for us. From Canamac High School, our big breakthrough finally came. We got our own facility in Cannonsburg on Belmont Avenue. And that's where we started to see uh, explosive growth. So we went from 50 to 60 people to uh, about 350 people. Uh, we went from one service to two to three services, and at one point we were running uh, Hispanic services. So that's four services uh, Sunday. In 2016, we hit a, almost a ceiling in a way, or a barrier. And that was when uh, we, need, we were just out of space. We needed more room. You know, by, the, by the hand of God, another door opened in Washington, where we were actually given the building and it was, uh, it, was, it was a great miracle, it was a blessing. Now we have two campuses to grow, and the, the great news is that we're still growing and that we're gonna get more locations and that uh, we're gonna continue to grow and this thing's gonna blow up. My name is Bethany Franz, and I've known pastors Nathan and Joey for about 17 years. I met them um, 
as a really, really grumpy 13-year-old who was being forced to go to youth group. I thought going to church was was really lame and boring, but they always made it so fun and they always made it relevant to my life and they always brought us in and trained us on how to be in the ministry. Hey, Pastor Nathan and Joey, this is Brother Richard. I will never forget when you came into my life over 20 years ago. You came to Pensacola as students at Brownsville Revival School of Ministry, worked with us in the youth department. And I remember when I first met you guys, I thought that you were brother and sister because I watched the way that you interact with one another. And I just thought, surely this is a brother and sister team. And so I was shocked when a few months later, I realized that you were actually boyfriend, girlfriend. But that speaks to your character, the caliber of people you are. You are so pure and innocent, even in your relationship with one another at a young age. And that integrity and that character has been who you are through all of these years. And I am so proud to be able to watch how God has been using you from a distance and seeing how God is changing a region through your life. You're not only my heroes, but you truly are champions. One of the things as I look back on the deposits made and in, in who I've become not only as a man, but as a leader, you know, you would think it's all the books and all the stuff and all the development, but I, I will tell you, I've modeled my leadership after Pastor Nathan. That's been the model of who I've become as a dad, as a, as a husband, you know, in ministry, in corporate America, and I get to see a front and center, true man of God, true leader, living that out in servant leadership and living out not just what he knows, but who he is. And so, you know, that's been a valuable deposit that has been placed in my life. And that was probably 19 years ago. And I'm still modeling my life after that deposit of that one meeting that we had. And there's been countless many more since then. My name is Lindsay Clark and I've known the Miller family for a really long time. Your involvement in my life has led me to where I am in so many ways and God really used you in my life. You believed in me whenever I was just another kid in youth group. You believed in me and you showed me that I was special and you recognized the call of God in my life at an early age and you f you fueled that and you fed that and you encouraged that and I'm being honest that if I didn't have you as my youth pastors then and I didn't have you feeding that and fueling that and opening the doors you opened the doors for me to have God encounters on a regular basis. It was never just routine youth group. You constantly opened the door for me to encounter the Holy Spirit. And because of that, I was able to receive that call in my life. And my husband and I are now in full-time ministry. Hi, my name is Rich Muckle. Pastor Nathan and Joey have been such an influence in my life, going all the way back to my middle school days. I was able to serve on the worship team um, every week playing drums and I can remember times where Pastor Nathan would just get with me and pray over me. I can remember a time where a woman came in in a wheelchair and we were just in this heavy moment of just interceding and praying and she comes in and we lay hands on her and I remember Pastor Nathan leading the charge and she gets up out of that wheelchair and walks uh, right in front of all these students who are just expecting God to show up, but He really shows up in like an evident, tangible way in front of us, and she's healed uh, of, of her issues and infirmity. And so that's, that's what affected me, that's what impacted me, that's what changed my life forever. The thing I admire most about you is that you didn't make another meaningless community church that teaches nothing and does nothing, but you took a stand for faith and prosperity and miracles and revival and now I get to watch the Lord reward you for standing for His Word. One thing I admire about my parents is their, uh, their ability to stick with God's Word and really press through and then they, they live it out and it, it's just a great example. And it, for us, for me, I know that and for my brothers and sisters and they make it make a great example and they show like how easy it is to serve the Lord and what the blessings He has on our lives. Uh, the one thing that I appreciate most about Pastor Nathan and Joey is just that they are who they say they are. They are the real deal. Uh, even around the home, they practice what they preach. 
and it's 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 amazing. You, like the pe person you see on the stage is the person you see at the house. They are the same people on stage, off stage, at home, in their personal lives, with their kids. There is no duality, there is no uh, fake, it's all real. Nathan and Joey, first of all, I just want to tell you how proud we are of you mm -hmm. and the work you're doing. Um, just love how you just give yourself so much to uh, the kingdom and the work of God. We, um, we couldn't be prouder. We're thankful for what you're doing. And it's, it's just so easy to look and to see um, how much you're impacting a region. We're just excited about what's ahead for you mm -hmm. because 20 years have come and gone pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> and look what you've done with God. And I'm just excited about the next 20 um, and what God's going to do through you. And um, we're, we're looking forward to great things with, for you guys. So congratulations. And with my line of work, I can live anywhere I want. I chose to live where I live so that I can go to your church. Because when you started it, I knew it would be the best church in Pittsburgh and one of the best churches in the nation. And everyone can see now that I was not wrong. I love you very much. Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Also, Joey, um, I guess I'll throw you into Happy Pastor Appreciation Day. Love you very much. Congratulations on 20 successful years of pastoral ministry. Champion Church, you are blessed to have such amazing pastors. I love you, I'm proud of you, and I look forward to watching God use you mightily in the future as you continue to bring His kingdom to your area and raise up champions underneath you. Pastor Nathan Jolie Miller, 20 years of ministry. Listen, you guys are doing it. Pittsburgh is being shaken and realms beyond. We just love, want you to know how much we love you and we celebrate with you at this time. Have a happy celebration of 20 years and you guys are awesome. From us to you, be blessed. Mom, Dad, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys and I uh, couldn't ask for better parents, better pastors, and um, just, you're just a true blessing in my life and uh, everyone else's life that you uh, even come in contact with. And uh, I just want to thank you for everything you've done for me, done for this church. And uh, I also want to thank you for uh, taking God's word and running with it. And uh, just, I can't wait to see what he has in store for you guys. And uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, happy pastor appreciation. Uh, we love you so much as a church and the best is yet to come. So I love you guys and um, happy pastor appreciation day.